A typical spiral galaxy is home to a few hundred billion stars. The brightest point usually lies at the center, with the combined light of so many stars that we cannot distinguish between them. But sometimes a single solitary star can outshine the light from an entire galaxy of stars. On August 24, 2011, astronomers detected just such an outburst. For a brief time, a star in the Pinwheel Galaxy shone with the light of 2.5 billion suns, a supernova. The Palomar Transient Factory, a project designed to look for just this kind of event, saw it first. Astronomers quickly realized this particular supernova was special and sent an alert out to the world. Supernovae don't last long, and astronomers needed to get as much data as they could before the star faded back to obscurity. That meant pointing as many telescopes as possible at it. Telescopes both on Earth and in space. Both big and small. Professional astronomers called on amateurs for help. The alert reached a gathering of amateur astronomers at Cypress Hills Park in Canada camping out for a weekend under very dark skies. They too turned their telescopes to the supernova, recording what they saw on scraps of paper and submitting their observations to a professional database. These lucky observers saw a very rare event, one that is observed directly by human eyes only once every few hundred years on average. Why was this event so special? Let's begin with the fact that it wasn't just one star, but two, two colliding stars. When seen from Earth, most stars look like individual points of light. However, many of those points of light, possibly even most of them, are made up of multiple stars in a common solar system. In this case, we had two white dwarf stars. White dwarfs are the last stages of life for most stars. Stars die in many ways. Some fade away so slowly that they will be among the last things left over once the universe has gone dark. Some will give birth to beautiful nebulae which may eventually be recycled into new solar systems like our own. Some will get too big and explode leaving behind bizarre objects like neutron stars and black holes. And sometimes, a star will blow itself completely out of existence. There will be nothing left over. No black hole, no neutron star, nothing. These two white dwarfs orbited one another in a tightening spiral, growing closer and closer to each other. Eventually, the gravity of the larger of the two stars stretched the smaller star into a disk of stellar material. This star stuff spun around the larger star, eventually spilling onto its surface. Now let's pause to take a look inside a white dwarf star. Normally, atoms have electrons orbiting a nucleus. But in this case, the immense gravitational pressure has smashed the atoms so close together that these electrons have been broken from their orbits. The momentum of these extremely fast-moving electrons supports the weight of the entire star. Over time, the combined weight of the two stars is too much for that momentum to support. This weight limit is known as the Chandrasekhar limit, named after a pioneering astronomer at the University of Chicago. When that limit is reached, the atoms break apart, resulting in a giant thermonuclear explosion. This giant explosion probably starts in the core. As you can see in this simulation, the core does not immediately explode outward as a shock wave. Instead, it acts like a match that lights the rest of the star, which then explodes all over, all at once. The white dwarf quite simply blows itself out of existence. Nothing is left behind. No black hole, no neutron star, nothing. 
but the explosion itself is something to behold. One explosion of a single star can be as bright as an entire galaxy of hundreds of billions of stars. The next time one of these goes off in our own galaxy and in our line of sight, it's likely to be so bright that we will be able to even see it in broad daylight. Light from supernovae allows us to measure the size of the universe. The first signs we had that the universe is expanding came from monitoring the distance to supernovae. Now, thanks to these and other measurements, we believe the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate, a discovery that is challenging our fundamental models of the universe. Thanks to this rare event and quick work by astronomers, we have new data to test our understanding of the size, shape, and history of the universe.